Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? For real, man, what's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to our Wednesday night Spawnicus Rex Days Gone Expert Gameplay Series. How the fuck are you? Glad to have you here. For real, who do we have with us? James Guan. Hello, sir. Big fella Trent. What's up, Big B? How are you, man? Oh, oh, so close. You almost made it in first. Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. Hello, sir. What's up, Jer Bear? Basics of Pain. Hello, sir. Hello and welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Big fella Trent. Jeremy McGee. That's almost like old times, fellas. Okay. So, uh, we are set to load our save from last week. So we're right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we've just about cleared the map for all three of the northern regions. Uh, the first three regions, Cascades, Belknap, and Lost Lake. Uh, I don't recall. I don't think we have full access to the Iron Butte region yet. So right now, where we're at, what we're doing. Yeah, see, the map's pretty much clear here. We've done the ambush camps, infestation zones, and Nero checkpoints. We've done the hordes that are available at this point. Um, actually all of them. Okay. Uh, but we've got some camp jobs here. So we've got like some little filler missions we can do for XP, trust, and credits. Um, so we'll hit this one here for Copeland's camp. We'll run over to Belknap and hit this one here for Tucker's camp. Um, we may have another one pop for Lost Lake by the time we do that. Uh, but we also have a main story mission up here in Marion Forks right here. Oh, a, oh, a big deal story mission. We also have an optional uh, white marker side mission. These, be aware, these are the only missions, well, really the only ones I'm aware of that it is even possible to actually miss. Uh, these, if you move the main story missions along far enough, these little optional side missions will disappear. They uh, are no longer available at certain points in the story. Uh, so <clears throat> having said that, let's get started. And first, let's say hello to Tom Jameson Juice Box. What's up, Juice Box? Are, are you fun to squeeze like a juice box? <laughs> Do you make a mess if somebody squeezes you like a juice box? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Good to see you, Deke. All right, so let's pick up this camp job from Mark Copeland. Got those scars by being attacked by a fucking rager bear. Oh, nasty business, that. Deke. Oh. You're not gonna and passion flower one. percussion. Know, Hello, ma'am. Howdy. These past couple of years, try me. How the hell are you, folks? And Trader Joe. Remember I'm sorry, I picked that up from Jeremy. Joe Schmo 0216, official channel assistant. What's up, Joe? Leaving their hey, hey, hey. Stones everywhere they went. Ah, uh, this yeah. mission is fun. Yeah, I uh, actually, this is one of my favorite camp well, jobs of all the camp jobs. This is one of my favorites. Stumbled into their camp while out hunting deer. Only Bender made it back. She Bender. said it was anarchists. <laughs> Only Each Bender made it back. symbol painted on their face. Jesus, where? Where does she see the camp? I'll mark ah, it and back. while we are getting started you here, folks, them. if you would, Kill please do hit like on the video. Don't forget to hit like as you're coming in. And also select live chat uh, so that you can see and participate in all of the chat. All right, so we have our, we have our orders. You're going to... Hey, Bike should be in good shape. It should be topped off on ammo. Yeah, 100, 100. We're good to go on ammo and everything. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, um, <clears throat> our objective is up here in the north center of the Cascades map. Here's a little chaos. And interestingly enough, this particular mission here, it's really easy to lead like wildlife and or freakers in here to clear this camp. I... I got lucky one time and was able to lure a breaker into this camp and he took out pretty much all of them. So if we can get like a rager or a bear or a breaker or something to spawn, of course, there won't be ragers at this point in the story, but like if you're doing a post game or whatever, um, then you can pull one of those in there. Anyway, let's go. Joe, thank you for putting those links in there, brother. Right here at the start. Folks, you know why those links are there. You know what they are. You know what they're for. You know we need the support. That's what it's going to take to make this channel grow. I hate, 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 hate pushing that shit. But honestly, that is how we make this community grow. Right there. Buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. You heard it first from Joe Schmo 0216. 
buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. Support the channel. Help the community grow. One-time contributions are fucking amazing. Memberships are even better. They start at $1 a month, and all membership tiers come with various perks. I would be stopping at the hidden loot locations along the way, but we're full up on everything. So I've been playing The Witcher 3 uh, last couple of days. I started a fresh playthrough on my uh, complete edition that I own on uh, PS5. I'm waiting for the next-gen version to come out. The uh, remastered version should be coming out December 14th, and I intend to stream it next. I fucking love The Witcher 3. I've been waiting years for a fucking remaster uh, for next-gen compatibility. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I've kind of been uh, just kind of, you know, uh, warming up with it. Okay, we're getting awfully close to this camp. Stop here and make a save. I think. Ooh, no. What? Can I? Can I save over that one? Yeah, that's a that's a recent one that sh we shouldn't be fucking anything up saving over that. Shit, I'm scared now. Oh yeah. Um, let's just keep the one save for now. We should be okay with that. I generally like to have at least two rolling save slots where I just overwrite the oldest each time that I save. Uh, that may not be an option. Um, I'm kind of on limited save, save slots right now. CJ Voorhees! Hello there. What's up, man? Darren Thompson, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hello and welcome. Oh, Hogwarts Legacy. Ah, yeah, man, that sounds cool. I actually, uh, I think it was some of the Lego Harry Potter games. Uh, I played some of those with the kiddos back in the day, and man, that shit was actually fun. Like, that's one of my, uh, my gamer nerd guilty pleasures. That's, that's the one that I love to play, but I don't want my friends to know I play it. <laughs> Fucking Lego Harry Potter and shit. <laughs> Lego Star Wars is up there on the list, too. Alright, I don't see or hear any interesting wildlife to bring in. We may have to just go in and take these guys out the old-fashioned way. Ballistics and explosives. Oh, we need to say hello to Cynthia. Yes. Cynthia Conception. Hello. Hello and welcome. From Japan. Hello to Japan. Let's see what you boys have been up to. Ah, and did I miss Captain Caffeine? Oh man, that sniper is in a good spot, man. Cope, you were okay, right. here we go. It's, uh, now we've got some concealment. You found him? <clears throat> good. Got another report. They hit one of our supply runs coming down from Tumalo. Now you go in there and kill them all like they were roaches hiding under your bedroll. <laughs> I love the way he just fell off the Let cliff. Let them know it ain't gonna be like it was last time when they had the run of the place. Cope out. Hey. You thought you'd just ride down into our home, tear that shit up, yeah? Hammer Valley! I see your comment there. Hello and welcome. Hold on one sec. Let me deal with this little asshole right here. Come on. A little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we got two of them now. Let's see. Who's first? Damn it, he's dead. Dead. Oh, fucking anarchist. How do you like that? Oh, yeah. Chaos. There we go. That takes care of those. All right. Hammer Valley is in saying, been watching your best start and these live streams. My second playthrough is going really well. Right on, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad that's working out for you, bud. That's, that's the thing. You know, you've already done one playthrough, so you know the game. And then you've got access to, like, advanced tips and stuff that you can use to hone your own playstyle. Fucking killer. Okay, so we have... That's just that guy moving down there. Is he coming this way? Well, shit, if he's coming to me, let's do it. No, you're going to stay down there. All right, well... 
That's fine. Now, I do need to be extra careful of the bear traps here. Claire loves using them. I just hate stepping in them. Hello, ma'am. Are you joining us officially now? Right on. Okay, hang on one sec, folks. We're just going to get the uh, other mic keyed up. And my my lovely assistant, Claire Weaver, a.k.a. Days Gone Podcast, a.k.a. 8-Bit Terror, <laughs> is going to hop in on the second mic here. Uh, give us one sec while we get the mic tuned in properly. Mic Hello. check when you're ready, babe. Hello. I can't hear anything. Hello? Am I here? Oh, yeah. And there I am. Hi. There we are. You found your sweet spot? Uh, I think so. Okay, cool. Hello, Miss Claire. How are Hi, you now? Hi, and I'm good. And how is how are you? And oh. how is everyone? And you can. Do you have your iPad? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let me move mine. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Give us just a sec. Uh, Claire just got done putting the kiddo to bed, uh, so we are ready to rock and roll here. All right, I'm ready. You ready? You yeah. A sec? Let's go. Okay. Cool. All right. Let me get to some concealment and not step in any trip wires or bear traps or anything fun like that. Okay, let's go through right here. Just a reminder to make sure everyone has it on live chat, not top chat. Yeah, yeah. And please do like the video as well yeah. for everybody coming in now. So have you said hi to everyone? Uh, I believe so. I I uh, don't think I've missed anyone. <laughs> Did you say hi to Darren Thompson? Indeed. James Guan? Indeed. Josh Mo? Indeed. CJ Voorhees? Afraid so. <laughs> Hammer Valley. Did you say hi to Hammer Valley? I did, actually. Okay. Oh, I love this machine. Yeah, I know. Shit up, yeah. Fuck an anarchist. How do you like that? Finally. How's this fucking anarchy, huh? Is that the Talon 7? Uh, negative. C8. Oh. I haven't not hit level 3 with Lost Lake Camp yet, so we're still just running the C8 from level 1 at Lost Lake. Things aren't messed up enough for you, huh? Is that it? I didn't realize it was good enough to be a one-shot kill gun in, in uh, that's not a headshot. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> a little surprised by that myself, but... Oh, that was a good one. Who's next? Is it you? Okay, well, come here. Walk into it for me. Tear that shit up, yeah? <laughs> Joe says, boom! Hey, is somebody here? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> like, you just saw your friend's head get blown apart. Do you, do you think someone might be here? Do you think that might be a sniper? Fucking like One that. more? Where's he at? I always find him. He's over yeah, there. Yeah, but... he's got to be further over there. All right. I just don't want to. You, okay, let bear me. Traps, all right, traps. yeah. Hang on. Let me. Let me be entirely honest with everyone in the chat right now. <laughs> There's a reason I perch up here. <laughs> hang on. Let me finish. There's a reason that I perch up here on this little hill in the bushes and take everybody out with a sniper rifle without moving my feet. Fucking bear traps. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I pick one spot, stay there, and do everything from that one spot whenever possible. <laughs> um, so two things for you. Yes, ma'am. First of all, there's a tripwire down to the left. Uh, as you go down the hill, as you follow it down, you'll find there's a tripwire, like a like a jangly thing mm -hmm. over Let there me by that tree. Adjust the aperture so see everything there? is in focus, and you are saying on the left there's a jangly. The left. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, right about center screen. And you should be okay for bear traps. Going From down this forward. way here? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to kind of roll down there here. There may be one you'll have to double check in that bush. Okay. And then we're... Wait, in the what now? <laughs> Can you double check in the bush? <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, all the bear traps should be behind and to your right of okay. where you currently are. I was hoping to pick up the NPC by panning the camera around, but I'm... No joy. That's good. <gasps> oh, you could just do that. <laughs> we were going to do that anyway. There he is. Maybe. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Just popped the back of his scalp off. <laughs> oh, look at that shit. We're so close to Max with Copeland's camp. 
Darren says a well-aimed grenade can take out three or four near the log. I've taken out six. Yeah. I've taken oh, out like yeah. half of At them. At times, yeah. When they're all sitting around that little campfire. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a quick question for you. Did you yes, manage ma'am. to... Go. I did not pro- your procure any it more whiskey more for us today. Yeah. I went to two different fucking liquor stores and neither one of them had what I was looking for, man. Really? Yeah, for real. One store didn't carry the benchmark at all. The other store only had benchmarked in a 750, not the 175 that we normally get. I was like, yeah, man, I'm not paying like 15 bucks for a fucking 750 milliliter when I could pay like 19 bucks for the 175. Well, we have a little bit. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, we're not out. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, man. Tink. Tink. We're drinking from our Bend glasses. Yeah, these are the shot glasses we picked up when we were in Bend, Oregon. Uh, you know, it's one thing. Uh, it, people must really love that fucking town because that's the only town I. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that's the only town I have ever been in where they sell like memory. Like, I don't know what tourist shit just for the yeah, town. I pointed that out to you. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we bought a and it was just one particular store we went in. But there were mm-hmm. a lot of I think a lot of other stores. There were others do. like it. Sure. We bought uh, shot glasses that say bend on them. We bought stickers. Uh, like coffee mug. But, well, let me get to that. Oh yes, ma'am. Um, motorbike stickers, really cool. Oh, yeah, it's like it's cool, kind of yeah. like a sort of like the drifter bike meets kind of like a vintage Triumph or something. In fact, it kind of looks like an old Triumph. Um, but it says Bend, Oregon on it. We bought. Uh, let's see. You got like a coffee thermos. Yeah, fucking excellent thermos. I got a map of the town in like, kind of sort of like an ordnance survey, topographical kind of map, sort of. Not really. You know, but. One second. I'm trying to decide. Do I want to risk running toward that X on my mini map to get that corpse and risk stepping on a fucking bear let me, trap? Let me, let me think. <laughs> yes. Just press the button to scan for stuff and it'll show you what see those red triangles yeah, yeah. well i mean yeah just but avoid those that it's kind of fucky sometimes if you're mm. if you're too close to it it doesn't pick it up if it well yeah trip why see well okay it did this time but sometimes it won't pick it up if you're close to what you're trap. pinging yeah climb up climb you know up. where all of those things are don't you oh yeah i pick them all up <laughs> you can either cut that or just run to it ping for bear traps and then you can roll off that way there you go <laughs> Run, 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 run away this, from the bear traps run before they catch you. <laughs> yeah, run before the bear traps catch me. <laughs> they're stalking you. Don't look back. They're right behind you. They're nipping at your heels. <laughs> Fucking bear traps, man. I see those things in my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. So anyway, uh, I do apologize for interrupting no, no, the story okay. there about the shit we got from Ben, but that's where I was going with that. Is someone is fucking excellent. Like, we got these really cool little shot glasses. That they're actually nice shot glasses. And that fucking coffee thermos I got, I use that you thing use that. every you, day. I think you every wish day. you could use it multiple times a day, but you just don't drink enough coffee. I just don't drink, yeah, to drink like, it all day. You would day, just yeah. drink more coffee just to use that thermos more. <laughs> right. Uh, CJ says, I often stealth kill a few of the anarchists here and then blast all the rest with explosive bolts on mm. the crossbow. Oh, yeah, right. Let's <laughs> Joe see. says, hashtag, hashtag bear trap tribe. Yeah, yeah. Fucking bear traps, man, I swear. I love them. That's why I love that mission. <laughs> yeah. There's so many bear traps. Yeah. Here. Shit. Okay, we'll do it. I don't like to waste durability on my suppressor. I will quite often remove the suppressor from the sidearm before I get on the bike so that I can fire freely without wasting the su- sidearm suppressor. Right. We all usually do that <laughs> until we forget yeah. to do that. Oh, there's some scrap lay in there. Yeah. Man, that is good fucking whiskey. I'm telling I don't know what it is. That fucking benchmark. Very, very inexpensive, reasonably priced whiskey. Just damn Tasty. good sipping whiskey. Yeah. I could sip that shit Passion, all day, man. Passion Flower says, bear traps, not just for the bears. <laughs> yeah, that's great. James says, oh, I almost thought Quasi was here. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, what's Quasi been up to? He sends me he, funny reels mm, yeah. on uh, on Instagram. We, yeah. we chat occasionally. He's been... Uh, I, I actually, Hang on. I need to give him a shout-out, actually. I love this. One thing I love about Quasimodo, he, even if he can't be present in the live streams, later, once the video or once the live stream is done, he'll pop up in the chat, you know, in the mm-hmm. comments, rather, oh, in yeah. the comments section of the video, and leave a like and a comment. Uh, and it's... I mean, like, I check my comments, and uh, I see... 
Quasimodo popping up in there all the time, leaving well, a comment and stuff. He's one of the uh, the badasses who knows that the comments do help the algorithm. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this not live and you obviously can't participate in the live chat um, and you want to help, you want to help like the channel kind of grow and get out there, uh, hit like, but also leave a comment. Yeah. Just anything. You can just say hi. Right. Or Little things. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Little things like that, they they actually do matter. In fact, everyone right now, anyone listening to this, just comment Bear Trap. <laughs> bear Trap. Just comment. That's yeah. it. That's all you have to do. Let's see how many Bear yeah, Traps. I mean, actually, Let's see how many Bear Traps we can set for Rex. <laughs> Because he has to go through these comments later and like like them, and give a little heart, and leave a little comment in response. And Rex, you have to reply to each one with, uh, "What does Deacon say?" Like bear trap, goddammit, it, or something. No, like no, when he no, steps in no, one. no, no. It's going to be bear trap, my leg, my leg, my leg. <laughs> <laughs> so for every bear trap that's left as a uh, as a comment, not in the live chat, as a comment on the yeah, video. I see the I see all the bear traps coming up in the live chat. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment my leg. under the video and Rex will have to type my leg, my leg to each and every one of them. Oh, good lord. <laughs> We're just making him work super hard. God damn it. Now, what do we have? Okay. Uh, the Jameson says maybe the shot glass is going to be opener oh, for whiskey cam. Uh, well, if you tune bitch. in on Saturday, yeah, um, you may just see this fabled, legendary whiskey, whiskey cam. cam. <laughs> All bow before the whiskey cam. So we're starting a new live stream on Saturday. Uh, we just announced Wait, it what? today. Oh, you didn't know about that? <laughs> um, 7 p.m. Mountain on Saturday. So an hour earlier than your usual streams. All of As Correct. of next week, all of your streams, Rex, are moving to 7 p.m. So they're all going to be yes, an hour earlier than usual. That is correct. Uh, 7 to 9 rather than 8 to 10 Mountain Time. Um, so Saturday... 9 p uh, sorry 7 p.m my word mm -hmm. uh we are doing our new collaboration it is called the feedback loop arcade yeah and it's gonna be a lot of fucking fun it is going to feature a whiskey cam yep 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 thanks to the jameson juice box <laughs> the juice box <laughs> oh fuck yeah look at that and it's gonna be a little different it's not gonna be oh, shit. Oh, that's beautiful. God damn, I love this game. Motherfucker. Are you fucking shitting me with this? There's droplets of rain. Yeah. Damn. Uh, but yeah, the Feedback Loop Arcade is going to be a different kind of live stream. It's not going to be a gaming um, focused live stream. It's going to be kind of more of a interactive chat. There will be some visuals. We'll, we may do yeah. some gaming. It's it's going to... We're kind of playing it by ear the first first week which is kind of finding our feet uh but it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be you know lots of fun in the live chat we're gonna do a lot of interaction with the live chat um and uh yeah we have a few cool topics lined up for discussion it's gonna be fun uh james is asking whiskey cam what is that well you know i do all my live streams on camera and Rex yeah. obviously does not. So we've got the setup. We have the setup. Cameras and shit. Yeah. And Tom suggested we just do a camera on our whiskeys so we can see what we're drinking and, and how much we're drinking, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that'll be less entertaining. We actually don't drink that much whiskey. Uh, James says, please be the Rex face reveal. You know what? We might do something like that. I mean, oh, no. Oh, never no. say we have, never. We have the bots. Hang on. Kill him. Get them. Get them. Purge them with fire. Purge them with a uh, report message for pornography or sexually oh, well, explicit material. I, mean, I guess that counts. Yeah. Uh, like beer goggles, says Darren. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, but different. Yeah, one step closer to whiskey sponsorship. We would indeed be interested in whiskey sponsorship if any whiskey companies okay, yeah. listening to this are interested. Okay, okay let's go. We will gladly shot, we will gladly talk about whiskey as often as you like pairs to talk about whiskey. Okay, there's runners. There they are. Whoa, okay. Deacon's actually stayed standing. Confession time. I've been playing the shit out of Witcher 3 and I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. In the Witcher uh, tap circle is how you uh, sidestep real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, there is no option to do that in this. Yeah. Okay. Good news, though. Though we did take a hit because I failed to dodge or hit the wrong button to dodge. Good news is healing shit is right here. 
I mean, you have a man purse full of healing shit. Yeah, but now I can have a... I can heal and still have a man purse full of healing shit. <laughs> yes, and do. Please reload. Yeah, so we have med kits and everything we need to make a bandage, so either one. Okay. Yoink. That's one reason I recommend unlocking these Nero checkpoints, the actual checkpoints, the MMUs. I recommend unlocking these as early as possible. Whenever you roll up on one of these, go ahead and unlock it. Uh, because it's not just for the Neuro Injectors that you get in there, uh, or the Weapons Locker for refilling your ammo, but there Or will, the Bunk. Or the Bunk for resting, which some of us use and some of us don't. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I didn't want to go all the way into town, because there's a story mission there that will pop if we get too close to it. I was gonna yes, go this direction. I'll come back later, burn out these uh, anyway. Yeah, I do recommend unlocking the Nero checkpoints early on. So that you have access to the healing items and crafting materials. There's always shit for making bandages. There's med kits uh, and stuff like that at the uh, Nero MMUs. There are also always two fuel cans. Correct. Uh, you know, I didn't. I actually did not know that Is until that you. Weed? It was. It was fucking tumbleweed. Wow. Uh, I did not know that until you pointed that out. I had never noticed that. Hey, there are actually two here every time. I'll do that sometimes just to shut them up because they won't scream if they're staggered from gunfire. Hey, uh, Sean Cola is with us. Hey, what's up, Sean? He says, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, welcome in, man. Well, answer his question. What did he miss? Because um, I only just got here too and I missed a bunch. <laughs> I, I, it hasn't been very eventful, honestly. Uh, we did the anarchist... Oh, um, yeah. The camp yeah, up the in camp the north job. of the Cascades. Yeah, the camp job for... Copeland's camp. Their little bear trap collection. The bear trap museum. <laughs> bear trap infested camp. Ah, whiskey. So this is the moment where I'm expecting to see red on the mini map while I'm sitting here fueling up, sipping on my whiskey. That happened to me this morning. I rolled yeah, up and I picked, your coffee, right? I picked up either my coffee or the iPad or <laughs> yeah, something yeah. and I was like, why am I being so foolish? Oh shit. <laughs> but no one came out. So I was like, nice. okay. runners again. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that little camera shift that happens I can never when see runners it. pop. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. So... Where's that red from? I don't know. Was it... Did you hit survival vision or whatever? No, it doesn't turn them red like Sweet. that. That was kind of trippy. Um, so yeah, I had a question for you. You talked about this before, and you want to explain the camera shift before I ask my question for people who don't know. Okay. So, I actually, hell, we could probably run it back. Let me. Let's do last something minute. like yeah, last minute auto work, and we'll just it's go. So cool that you can do this. I know, right? Uh, and we'll just run it forward. We know it's going to be toward the end here, right before the runner pops. All right, so watch my camp. The camera here is it's going to pull back when at the instant that the runner targets you, the camera angle will pull back away from Deacon. So let's watch and see if we can spot it here. I know it's a smaller screen, but any second now, you'll see the camera expand back away from Deacon. Right there. Okay. So my question is, I always notice it after I, the runner is on me and I'm aiming and I'm like, oh, shit, a runner, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I notice it when it like pushes back in. You know when the runner's dead because it mm. pushes back in. Okay. My question for you is, where are you looking on the screen? I am not being sarcastic or funny. This is not intended to this be... It's not a sarcastic question. It's, it's a legit Excellent. question. Because I, not... I had a theory, and that's why I okay. want to ask this question. The My only accurate answer, the only way I can think of to say that is the entire screen. Right. Okay. I think you're special. <laughs> because we're no, I'm 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 okay. not being funny or sarcastic. Like special, like special, special, or, or special, <laughs> no, like, special, like special. Oh, like X Men special. Aww. Uh that you're able to do that. So this is my theory. Is this is why you don't like mostly third person games because mm. you are not looking where most people look. Hmm. Where I look when I'm driving is driving the bike. Yeah, is where you would look if you were driving a bike. 
in real life. If you're driving a car, I'm not looking at the dash. I'm not looking at the windshield. I'm not looking, you know, anywhere except where I need to look on the road, like a little bit of ahead. Mm -hmm. So when I'm riding the bike with Deacon, I'm looking, like even that clip, I'm looking at the the K rails and the um, what now? The concrete barriers. They're called K rails. I don't the concrete. See them. Well, you don't see them here, but the, oh. the concrete blockades that you can crash into and send Deacon ragdolling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a couple of them in Marion Forks. Yeah, right down the hill here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And yeah. Some here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the cars. I'm looking at the, the truck that's tipped over. I'm looking at the curvature of the road. I'm very specifically looking, uh, I don't know, a few, uh, I don't know, like 20 yards ahead of saying. the bike. And my focus is where it. am I steering? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the camera pulls back, my perspective doesn't really change because I'm looking down the road, mm. which doesn't really shift all that much. Right. If the, you're the point of focus doesn't right. shift much. Yeah, but if gotcha. you're looking at Deacon, then, yeah, you fucking see that. Yeah. You see him get smaller on the screen as right. the camera pulls Correct. back. Yeah. So that was why I asked the question because uh -huh. you've said yeah. that before. I notice it. I notice the difference. When I hear the runner growl, mm. and then that's I'm like, your audio oh, cue that a runner's it's the audio cue, you. but I yeah. have confirmation because I know that the screen is, I can look down at Deacon and see he's slightly smaller than he usually mm. is because the camera's further yeah. away. But I don't notice that little pullback because I'm not looking, yeah. as you say, at the whole the screen. Entire screen. Yeah, it's so the, I think yeah. you have a, a special ability that you're able to take in the whole screen, whereas I think a lot of people are looking more like you would in real life at a, a specific point. Hmm. Yeah, and I wonder, I wonder if you, I mean, I know we've, we've just discovered this, but Some I wonder if you could, uh, <laughs> no, I wonder if you could maybe <laughs> think about how you do that and hmm. maybe at some point in the future answer how you do that. Because that yeah. would be, I would find that really useful so, and I would hazard a guess that a lot of people in the chat would find it really fucking useful. Can I be really honest with you for a second? Uh, you just have a special X Men ability. No, no. What I was gonna say is, uh, it <laughs> it's because I'm such a crotchety old bastard. Uh, so we were playing The Last of Us, what last night, right? Right. And we're doing the underwater bit, and you were having difficulty with the underwater bit because of the large fans. No, I think. No, I've got PTSD flashbacks. Okay, so we're gonna skip. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, skip I'm kidding. Forward, I'm kidding. <laughs> gonna skip forward to the point of that conversation. Mm -hmm. There was a corpse floating under the water. When I took over the controls for you, and I was uh, swimming Joel around under the water to solve that little puzzle in there and grab whatever we needed. And you just booped it out of the way, right. and I there was, was freaking out. There, and I just booped it out of the way, like you said, because I know corpses oh, underwater gross you out God. in video games. They really don't, creep no, you no. out. They yeah, well, creep me out. They don't gross yeah, right. me out. They yeah, fucking it's actual terrify me. Creep type thing creeps you out. I just can't. So here's the I'll be really honest with you. You were just like, oh, you just booped that out of the way and kept going. I didn't know that was a corpse i had no idea because Wait, hang on no hang on let me let me let me <laughs> no no it's a matter of i guess where the focus is i had no idea that was a corpse in the water it was not a pickup item to interact with or an mm. enemy to destroy my eyes did not see it all right I, so i recognized that there was an obstruction in my path so i knocked it out of the way and kept moving forward Toward my the objective, but I, I hadn't realized that was a corpse in the water. It was just something in the way that was not a pickup item or an enemy. Hmm. So I didn't register it visually. Let's let's just take a, a little pause from this conversation. We need to catch up with the chat. Yeah, behind. We that. need to say hi to Aces Cruising. Hey, Aces! I texted my friend an hour ago. Need days gone too. <laughs> Does your friend have the ability to make that happen? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you say hi to Ireland Sons? I have not. Already? Ireland Sons, hello and welcome. Hi. Uh, CJ says the quest for being in top five global ranking for Black Friday continues. Whoa. Hit over 242 million yesterday. Damn it, boy. Okay. Only to make a slip up and die <laughs> by being completely surrounded. Oh, fuck. Insert face palm. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, oh. actually, I would like to see Borislav 24-7's blooper reel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Zylok says, I noticed the screen doing the same thing. The screen widens, the mm -hmm. gun comes out, and then you see the white targeting thing, the, yeah. the, the crosshairs, the reticle. Um, uh, Zylok then says, that explains it. I'm always staring at Deke's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Cap says, an ass man. <laughs> I mean... 
I mean, I know I am. <laughs> yeah. You're an ass I man? Great that. Staring at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Zylok says, I knew it. Only a man who keeps his car that clean Thanks. would have no reaction whatsoever to a corpse. <laughs> Okay, sure. You know, I have been told that I, I keep my car serial killer clean. And you do. <laughs> you seen you, Deke? I don't even know what that means. I've also seen what you keep in your trunk. <laughs> and in A the case side. of water right now. Well, it's about the only thing back there. Since <laughs> you're here for your bike, right? Oh, and a bottle of wine. I did pick up a bottle of wine at the liquor store and forgot to bring that shit inside. Your bike so you got wine but no water. whiskey. Correct. So now we're sitting here with Build no whiskey. Up. I've had a little no, half, was, a, half a glass. Babe, we still have the blackened whiskey in there. We got the want... good shit in there. I guess it is Wednesday. It is Days yeah, Gone. Yeah, it's fucking Days Expert. Gone Day. We can celebrate Days Gone by drinking the good whiskey. Oh, the good shit. Let's break out the birthday bash whiskey. All right. Uh, Cap says the human brain is amazing on how it works with different people and areas of focus Definitely. or non-focus. Absolutely. Um, hey, and Xylox says, can you even hey, still Zach, get into your hands the top clean. tier for Black Friday or the top five for Black Friday? Deacon, I thought it was filled with God. people... Who got the two talk. billion cap? It's rippers. Yeah. More goddamn rippers. Oh, good rippers. There is one okay. that, uh, yeah, they there is one that's the kind of fucky pass. like that. I don't remember the now details. Uh, I know Borislav has discussed it, uh, afraid, it several Deke, times. If we don't stop them, what's going to happen to the hot springs? I don't know. I get Darren right. Thompson don't says, I'm a leg girl. <laughs> So what mission are you on now? Could you, um, you can I just I, see I, something real quick? Of course. Could you go to the map, please? Going, and just hover over Hot Springs. Uh, oh, sorry, over the, um, just the map the region. The Belknap area? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. All Thank right. you. So I don't want to forget this one. We do need, I, I like to take care of these, especially on a fresh start playthrough uh, where I'm trying to get maxed out as much as I can as early as possible. I do these, I, I skip them. Uh, you know I mean? I, I like hold down center button to skip them but i do go and collect the uh credits and or uh, whatever the xp you get from these i think it's just xp yeah you get i think 2000 or yeah. i got 2000 on the last one yeah. i did so i do like to pick these up uh i mean you know later in the game once you've like maxed out the skills that you want and stuff it doesn't fucking matter unless you want the uh story the world building story elements mm -hmm. uh so i mean if you're uh, all about collecting those well, shit fuck yeah go for it uh, but just be aware, they will disappear. Uh, these white uh, optional side missions will disappear. And some of them, you know, they are, you will actually miss them. You know what would be really cool? What's that? You know, you can get those, like, um, for, like, science things. They have things that, like, track, uh, tr tra <laughs> track where your um, eyes are focused on oh, a screen. Right. Yeah, I've heard of those. We should do that with you. We'll hook you up to one of those and see where you're yeah. looking on the screen. Yeah, I'm pretty much just focused center screen. Sorry, man. I, I think is what I'm actually it. looking but at. You're course, able that to made me see think it. about it. It's almost like you're able to see it in 2D, so you're taking in the whole thing as one layer and, and all the information, whereas I see it in 3D. I'm looking, even right now, I'm not even driving, but I'm looking at the distance. To, to see where you're driving and make sure there's no obstacles there. And it, everything else at a certain point, when I'm focused, everything else fades away. It's also, I'm not used to playing on such a big TV. We have a huge fucking TV, and I wonder if that might be part of it. Yeah. That it's just so fucking big that the mini map and stuff is like just far away from where I'm focused. Baby. It's too It's far too big. Uh, while you kill these assholes, I'm going to go pick We're up the whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Or you're right just going to ignore them? All right. Oh, I'll come back, bro. Yeah, I like to get set up first. God, I love the auto shotgun. Blam, 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 blam. Yes, man, you already know, yeah. That and I missed is... it. I wasn't watching. I was going to get the whiskey, but I yeah. know what you're talking about. That is absolutely my favorite weapon in the game. That The auto shotgun, this bad motherfucker right here, is absolutely my favorite weapon in the game. 
Now, these, like I was talking about, I do go up here and collect these, uh, but once it gives you the option to skip them, I, I go ahead and just skip the dialogue and stuff. If you have not done these, I recommend uh, doing so and listening to them. You will get some interesting character uh, development information. All right. Here you go. Here's your whiskey. Standing. Now, this... Some of the birthday bash whiskey. Uh, Cheers. Yeah. Yoink. Uh, Claire got me a bottle of blackened whiskey. Metallica whiskey. Yeah, yeah. So fucking good. This is probably the best whiskey I've ever drunk. Wow. Yeah. It's fucking great whiskey. I mean, I think I like... Oh, my God. You can tell the difference after mm -hmm. drinking the blackened. I think I like the redemption and the bullet a little more, but this is mm. just like, as holy far as the flavor. shit. Yeah. So good. Uh, so Aces Cruising says, hey. I've been to Belknap in real life. No shit. We have too. Had a great fucking trip. Did you go to the, the actual hot springs, uh, the Belknap Hot Springs Lodge up there? That was so cool. The bridge. Yeah. It was so funny. Like we walked on the bridge and I'm standing there thinking, how many times have we been <laughs> on the bridge, this bridge? And yet this is our first time on mm -hmm. this bridge. It was right. trippy. It was also really weird because it's like, it's it's kind of like a weird sort of old people resort. It is. Because it has the hot springs the hot and you springs, go to like yeah. soak your weary bones. <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's cool. Like the, And the location around it, they have like a garden and little nature trails and stuff that you can go on. And uh, it's in the Cascades. So it feels like you're walking through the Cascades, but it's the Belknap Hot Springs. Um so they kind of moved it for the game. Yeah. It's not actually in the lava fields, though there are lava fields kind of close by. Yep, just right down the road. Uh, Cap says, I wonder if that vision thing is a male slash female thing or just depends on the person. Mm, yeah, more likely just the individual. Uh, Zylok says, I think Borislav said it took him six hours to get the, it's like the Black Friday, um, high score. Uh, CJ says, I'm amazed that the gold score for that challenge is as low as it is. Super easy to get it. Trying to get in global ranking is real, is the real challenge. Uh, Darren says, good observation. Cap was wondering that too, about the male female thing cap says he sees the it's camera possible. shift when driving the bike yeah I get, it is possible yeah xylox says i watched slash, slashed listened to all of the sarah rock conversations just with the story but was rewarded with a decent skin for the bike ah okay uh tommy hoffman is with us hello tommy hey tommy hello and welcome uh, he says, if you're scared to fight the hordes in the beginning for the smp9 what gun setup would you use ah well, okay. Um, the most accurate answer I have for that is none of them. Use explosives and traps. Uh, use the environment against and them. Stealth. And stealth as far as getting into set up your explosive and traps. Uh, explosives and traps. Um, I recommend... Uh, actually, if you really want to get that done, check out my Unlock the SMP9 early video. Uh, it's There's a playlist on my channel. It's um, best, early, or best early game start. Yep. Uh, yeah, something like that. Just look at the playlist on my channel, man. You'll see which one it is. Um, and one of the first videos in there is Unlock the SMP9 Early. That will show you four of the early game hordes that are guaranteed to be there when you start the game. Uh, and it will show you where to find them and the easiest way, I think, to kill them uh, with the resources available from the hidden loot locations. So you won't actually be using guns much at all. The point is to unlock the SMP9 so that you have a gun worthy of taking out other early game hordes yeah and honestly my tip for being scared of the Talk hordes is and, and to quote rex i'm not being funny or sarcastic <laughs> let them kill you yeah party. save your game and just walk up to them and just let them kill you do it like three or four times yeah. like for real and get just over that fear see how long Stay it actually out. takes them to kill you because it's not super easy i mean obviously if you just stand there they they will rip you to pieces but if you kind of run around a bit takes a few hits it does lessen the fear a little bit um and just you know you know you've saved it so it doesn't matter 
do it a few times and just reload. So, you got this. Uh, Alex is with us. Alex Andrew says hello. Hey, hello, Alex. Uh, K Singh says happy early hey. Thanksgiving, everyone. K Singh, hi. Uh, Cynthia says lunch break is over. Hope to catch the next stream soon. Well, we are so glad you were here with us, Cynthia. <laughs> Zylock says for Christmas, Rex <laughs> should give us all a gift and do a four hour stream of nothing but crossbow and molotovs. <laughs> Uh, Etherglide is with us. Did we say hi to Etherglide? I have not. Etherglide, hello. Etherglide says, color blindness affects the way I see the game. I find ah. it difficult to see enemies in the game, whereas my son says they obviously stand out for him. Hmm. If it wasn't for the prompts, I wouldn't pick them up. Ah. Now, I I have trouble seeing... The, I'm not colorblind, but I have trouble sometimes seeing the enemies, the freaks, when they're just like mm -hmm. moving slowly because everything is earth tones in this mm. game. Everything is brown and green and blue and kind of very samey. If you go into photo mode a lot, you really, really notice it. I find it a little frustrating. I wish it just had a little more realistic color, but it's kind of an interesting, uh, I guess, thematic color scheme. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it does make it hard. I think on purpose, it does make it just a little bit harder to pick out the enemies. Like, just look at the colors here. Like, everyone is just like, Deacon is kind of like blue-gray, and that rock is blue-gray, and then the rippers here are wearing like green and brown, and the background is kind of green-brown. Oh, damn rippers. It does make it hard. Rest yeah. In hell. The lot of you. James says the best horde gun early game is to leg it. <laughs> uh, Asus says what I always wonder is how the hell they could live on Wizard Island when it gets like 40 feet of snow or more in the winter. <laughs> there is that, yeah. yeah. Oh, Shit. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, go I was ahead. just going to say we were up there in late October and there was there was snow on the ground, man. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah. uh, Joe has some links uh, in the chat for us. For? He says, yeah, yeah, contribute yeah. to the community or become a member. Membership started at a dollar a month. That's less per year than one month of Netflix. And there's a link. Do you want to just pop up the links on the screen? I can talk about them real quick. Yeah, check this out. So the first one, as Joe mentioned, is buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. That is where you can go if you like this channel. If Rex has helped you, and if you want to show your appreciation, throw a little money in the tip jar, no, or if you want to become matter, a channel me, member, I'm which is the best way to support the channel and help the channel hundreds, grow, maybe. all the details are over there at buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. You can do a one-time contribution if you just right, want to so say thank you. Uh, you know, a few dollars, throw a few dollars in the tip jar. That really Carlos does help him out. Or if you want to become a channel enough. member, as I said, it starts at a dollar a month. There are various different tiers. There's a dollar a month, two dollars a month. We have ten dollars a month, a few tiers above that that you can choose from. Each tier has rewards and perks that you get. You get free shit. You get merchandise. You get wallpapers. You um, get shout outs on the live streams. You get your name in the opening and closing tags of the every live stream. So yeah, all the details are over there. Buymeacoffee.com slash Spawnicus Rex. Please go check it out. Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna drink some whiskey. Yeah. The second uh, link we need is for the merch. If you yeah, want to check out. Fuck yeah. So Spawnicus Rex has some sweet fucking merch. And there's also Days Gone inspired merch and a Doom inspired design as well. Um, so if you're a fan of the game or if you're a fan of Rex and you want to buy some merchandise, there are T-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, buttons or pins, stickers, tote bags, notebooks, kids shirts, uh, mugs, all sorts of cool shit. It's all over there at daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. And the link is there in the live chat as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CJ says, uh, saved next to Ricky at Lost Lake. Loaded my save the following day. And with the screen still black, I saw the red indicator for getting hurt. Deke and the bike went flying and I almost <laughs> died. Wait, what? Yeah, what happened? Oh, Etherglide can't see the color purple. Oh. I had a friend uh, who was colorblind and he couldn't see brown. He would see it as purple. So he had 
the most beautiful fucking colors in his vision, like oh, blues wow. and purples, like God, he would just describe them as being gorgeous colors. And everyone else would be like, dude, that thing's fucking ugly. It's brown. Yeah. Like what? And he's like, no, like the shirt or, you know, whatever it was he was looking at. It's like, no, it's, it's beautiful. It's like a deep purple. And they're like, no, no, it's ugly as shit. It's just, it's like wow. poop brown. He'd no. see poop as like purple. That's really cool. Imagine not being able to see brown. That would, that's because brown is the worst color. No one has brown as their favorite color. Yeah. Well, that's not true. Show me someone I who mean, likes brown. I don't brown. personally know anybody, but that well, doesn't mean they go. don't exist. They don't exist. Oh, well, Unless fine. it's like a you color blindness exist. thing, but they're not seeing brown. <laughs> Your face doesn't exist. <laughs> Hey, what Mark Bruinton is with to? us. Um, Hello, Mark. Yeah, hey, what's up, Mark? He says, happy early Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we should probably talk about our schedule this week. Uh, speaking of it being a holiday uh, tomorrow, uh, that is going to affect our schedule a little bit, but we also have some changes to the lineup and schedule coming. Indeed. Yeah. Did, did you want to talk about that? Yeah, <laughs> you can. I was only half listening to the chat. I thought I'd give chat. the intro. Um, wait, what did, what was, can you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I was reading! That's fair. Zylock said, get yourself what a onesie the, for your oh. newborn that says, fuck Schizo, they'll be the coolest kid at daycare. <laughs> fuck yeah, they will. Yeah, Claire is wearing her punch it shirt right now. And, uh, shit, y'all need to check out her Instagram. If you haven't been on Instagram today, <laughs> check out Claire's Instagram. Uh, she is modeling, uh, the punch it shirt. Uh, what are we, what are we, what are we advertising there? Um, you, you've lost the ability to speak. I, yeah, I think. I'm fuck. I saw that post. <laughs> <laughs> you this um, you kind of like this shirt. Mm, what a bit. <laughs> and I'm wearing like black leggings and like a black tank top, like a loose fit sort of tank yeah, top. Uh, that says "Punch It" on it. It's a Doom 2016 Doom inspired uh, t-shirt. It's like the Doom font. And I added some like texture to it and stuff. It's really fucking cool. It's my new favorite. I just shirt. think it's sexy because it's Doom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, you're just lusting over the Doom yeah. guy. That's all it is. <laughs> Rip and tear. Until it is done. Um. Yeah. So you said about schedule changes. Yeah. We talked about and that already. And stuff. Like but tonight, you want to talk about it again? For the new folks that just popped in? Yeah, okay. So, schedule changes. So, all of the streams starting after this one. So, yeah. okay, let me start. Let me roll back. Yeah. So, tomorrow here in the US is Thanksgiving. So, Rex and I will both be not streaming tomorrow and Friday. There's your K-Rail. There. Oh, that concrete mm -hmm. barrier. That okay. is a K-Rail. Yeah, neat. So, yeah, we're not streaming tomorrow uh, or Friday. We are back on Saturday at the new time. So all of Rex's streams from this point on are going to shift to 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So it's an hour earlier than they used to be. Um, they're all switching to that. And on Saturdays, it's going to be every other Saturday, we are going to be doing a collaboration. It's called the Feedback Loop Arcade. And it's a slightly different kind of vibe, slightly different kind of, well, not really a different vibe, a different kind of live stream with our usual kind of vibe, I should say. Uh, so it's just going to be a fuck ton of fun. Uh, it's going to be uh, kind of nerdy, kind of sexy, kind of just cool in a number of different ways. And you all are invited to come hang out and uh, have a fun Saturday night with us starting the Saturday at 7 p.m. Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then next week... You are going to be doing... So we have... We just finished The Last of Us. That was our usual feedback loop evening uh, live stream collaboration. Correct. Yeah, we just finished. We rolled credits on that last yeah, night. Yeah, so we finished The Last of Us. We are... I'm not going to be on the Tuesday streams anymore. That is going to become a second AC Valhalla uh, stream. Yep, two so a week. Tuesday and Thursday, AC Valhalla. Monday and Friday, Days Gone Expert Gameplay. Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday and Friday. I'm sorry. Wednesday and Friday. That's what I meant to say. Tuesday, Thursday, Valhalla. Wednesday, Friday, Days Gone. Every other Saturday, our collaboration. Yep, yep, yep. All yeah. at 7 p.m. All of them. <laughs> Joe says that's a concrete barricade. Yes, it is. It's called a K-Rail. That is what they call them in California, where they use them a lot when there are mudslides. Check it out. We have marauders here at this uh, story mission to go into the church. Fuck them up, baby. <laughs> right. Oh, it's going to happen. Let's ambush the ambushers. I love doing that. Oh, there's two of them there. Oh. Ah, damn it. Get him. 
I know, right? Follow your own tips, boy. Walk him into it. There we are. Come here. Shotgun on the left. Uh huh. Oh, scoopers. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that you like touched his face. Like, ow! Yeah, ow! That hurt. <laughs> hey, dude, that stings. Okay, now, one thing I wanted to point out, we know we have some gear up here. We have an attractor, we've already picked up the grenade, uh, we have med kits, we have uh, flashbangs. Uh, over on the other side, uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal up real quick since we do have an extra med kit on the other side. On the other side, we have a Molotov and a med kit, and I think a pipe bomb, too. So, right here, you know, we got a red, fully crafted, ready to pick up, ready to be used Molotov, and then a pipe bomb right here. So, we know that we can use these items in this mission. We have a Molotov, a flashbang, and a pipe bomb that we can use pretty much free of charge. Not that I will necessarily be using them. I should have just fucking used that bandage. Anyway, uh, not that I will necessarily be using those items. Just be aware they are there uh, and available if you need them. Tommy says, I played Horizon before Days Gone, and I feel oh, yeah. like Days Gone is two times harder. Or is it just me? Hmm. Did you play Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon Forbidden West, the first one or the sequel, and compare it to Days Gone? Because for me, Horizon <laughs> Zero Dawn uh, was challenging, but nowhere near as hard as Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West is one of the hardest games I've played in a while. Yeah. Joe's comment there. I'm going to make you read it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me move it over here where I can see it. <clears throat> Joe Schmo 0216 wants Tommy Hoffman to, to know. I mean, Days Gone gets me two times harder. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe says, well, Claire, California could be wrong and not for the first time. <laughs> I mean, they are concrete barricades. They that is what they are. I don't know why they're called K-Rails. That always bother me because they're not shaped like a K. I, mean, I don't know why they call them that. <laughs> but that's what they're called. <laughs> CJ says, walk them into it. Talking about the crosshairs. Mm -hmm. Or shoot them in the ass. <laughs> Rex yep. 2022. <laughs> Alex says, can anyone confirm if you can find the superior battle axe near Corey's camp? Just east of it on the utmost, utmost right corner of the burn gas station as a permanent location. Yes, I can confirm that. Was it a random spawn or is it game relate game point related? Uh, yeah, there's. You actually did a video on the locations of the superior metal axe, right? I did. Yeah. But yeah, there is the one at that gas station, the Burnett gas station, right by Diamond Lake. It's always there. Of course, if you pick it up. Um, and go off and use it and come back, it'll take a while to respawn. Interesting, I never thought to be outside of the church doing this. I never enter it until I clear. Well, I don't either, but I don't go around the outside. Oh, I see what you're saying. I just stay on the stairs and just use the steps as cover and mm -hmm. just like pop up and kill them as I need to. See, now they're just shooting at you through the windows. Yeah. I don't know if this is a nah, good plan. it's not working out so well, honestly. <laughs> See, if you just throw Molotovs in, it takes care of them in seconds. <laughs> yeah, the Superior Mace is the one I love, even though, yeah, I know it's not quite as good. I just, I like it. I swear it swings faster. Um, Come on, gosh. where's my target? There you are. You could just throw a flashbang in here. I did. Oh. I opened just one. Okay. Well, you didn't take full advantage of it. Uh, yeah, it took me too long to get in there and get lined up for the shot. Exactly. They were stunned when I made my entrance, though. So the earliest point you can get the superior mace and or um, axe is... Um, the lookout with Corey. Mm -hmm. I forget the exact scene. Is that where you show him the photo? Or? I believe no, no. so, yeah. I forget. Or it's, it's during that? around that scene it's, uh, yeah. where they well, talk about uh, photos of the past the, and stuff. Yeah. The groom goes first. Did you turn the music off? Uh, I did not. I'll, you should I'll do it first. right now. Yeah. 
Hang on, folks. Apologies. I do actually need to turn off the music here. This bit is uh, the song that plays in this bit is copyrighted. This video will get flagged for a copyright violation if I leave the music Deacon. turned on. Sorry. I'm so sorry that no one came. Yeah, as CJ says, the cutscene so where Deacon and Corey talk about their wives, this is superior mace and sides. superior axe. Those two things are there. That is the first I mean, time that you can get everyone. them, I believe. Um, there's an axe near the mine where you mine cinnabar. I want you to Correct. Know that that's how much there's a little camp me. nearby there. There are tons of them. I actually, they really are. There's a fuck ton of them. Yeah. yeah the one that I like is the um, the the cavemen mission. Mm -hmm. um, Aren't there like two at that location? There's two. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's three. Two in fact, superior I think there's, metal axes. There's, there. there's two cinnabar axes and a mace. I yeah, think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also I think there's one up at the radio tower no camp. And no end. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they really, I mean, actually my video, I, I'm going to be entirely honest with you. Watch the video because it will show you some guaranteed locations, but it's a shit video because it ain't very many of the locations. There are tons. There are lots. If you are looking closely, there are tons of them. In fact, if anyone wants to know, I actually have a list. Um, email me, daysgonepod at gmail.com. I'll send you the list because I actually compiled one one time uh, to help you make an updated version of that video. Yeah. Which we never got around to doing. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you want to know where they all are. Where the fuck was he in? Um, yeah, daysgonepod at gmail.com. Just send me an email and say, Axe list, please. And I'll send it to you. There we go. Hey, Tux Trio is with us. Tux, what's up? I do hate that we can't loot those corpses in there. Yeah, I know. You can if you're fast. You can loot some you get of them. You get one or two of them, yeah. James has got to head out, uh, getting up at 5 a.m. to watch oh, the game. Ah. All right, James, take it easy, brother. We will see you soon. Here's my promise. That I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you... And what you does he do? You may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Well, technically, she hey, left him because he was just standing there on a rooftop but and she flew away. I promise <laughs> to ride me as much as you ride your bike. Oh, my. You naughty little thing. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm going to just go. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> Don't worry. This is never going to happen again. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke, what's up? We've gone so quiet. <laughs> we're, uh, still, yeah. we're still here. Yeah. I uh, I try not to talk over, like, the, the hardcore story-related cutscenes. Mm -hmm. uh, turn the music back on. Mm. Mm-hmm. As soon as I put my whiskey glass down. <laughs> <laughs> Important things first. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we got a skill point. Tuck says he did not ride her harder than the bike. Those two years were some hard rides looking for her. Mm, now, yeah. someone said recently, I think on the subreddit, well, someone was asking about the dates in the game, the date mm, when the game is set. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I believe in the mm. game you can find um, oh, I found a couple of ass calendars that say 2017. So mm. presumably that was the last okay. year the world was still standing. So this game takes place in 2019, which makes church. sense. That's the year it came Shit. out. So I think it's around then. Yeah. Dandy anyway, Denny, I believe it was, mentioned in. that the... 
ID badge, Sarah's ID badge, has a date on it mm. saying 2013, hmm. which gives us a little bit of a timeline Daddy, that maybe that's when she Lost started like work or was right. transferred to Cloverdale. Mm. Um, so that luck, might be um, around the time she met Deacon. Are you going to be around Deacon. for a while? I, uh, I, I oh, yeah, right. See, uh, Shortly after she, getting transferred she there, She yeah. has like a rental car. She's probably pretty mm, new. She's yeah. nowhere around. So that I would make sense that that's when they, uh, that they meet when she's new in town. Right. Um, so if that was 2013, that gives them, what, four years of their relationship before the world goes to yeah. shit? Yeah, ish. Yeah. Which I'd always wondered. Hey, I'd always Nick? wondered about that. Can you stop by? Ricky, uh, Tommy uh, says, out of the endings, which one of, uh, okay. is your guys' favorite by. one? I'm slightly hmm. confused by the question, um, because there's only one, like, narrative ending to the game. There are some extra scenes you can get, but there are no, like, different... Was there a marauder standing over there? Maybe. Uh, there are I'll no take a look. no different endings. It's not like... They were yeah. originally going to do it as a choice-based game, but really the only choice was just... Does Boozer live or die? On the left? By the white pickup? or Oh, is that a body there? I believe it's that a thing is Okay. Yeah, I just saw that sort of... Cr I thought someone crouched. Oh, no. That's an unfortunate way to die. <laughs> Looks uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the there really is only one story ending. You don't get different endings in Days Gone. Uh, but the air quotes best ending would be if you are able to reach level three with Mark Copeland's camp in the Cascades and level three with Ada Tucker's camp in Hot Springs uh, in Belknap, uh, if you can reach level three with both of those camps before the final mission, you do get extra cutscenes that mm -hmm. are not available any other way. And, and I will tell you that without those cutscenes, the end um, assault on Wizard Island off. is like really lame. I had that <laughs> my first playthrough and I was like, what, all 12 of us are going to go take on Wizard <laughs> Island? <laughs> really? Yeah. It, was, it was kind of bizarre. I was a yeah. little confused. I wish they hadn't done that. Uh, like, it's cool that you can get those extra scenes, but if you don't get them, mm -hmm. it, it seems really just unrealistic. Lackluster. Yeah. Uh, and that's very likely why some people say the ending sucked for them, because they didn't do the work mm. to hit max level camps. Or they didn't know they that's the thing. Well, I mean, it says level two of three. Yeah, but, so that, but if you don't look at uh, levels and think that contact. levels mean anything or give a shit like the way I play I was enjoying the story and it's like I'm not thinking, my first playthrough I don't want to know about game mechanics I don't want to break the immersion I want to enjoy the story and I wanted to know <laughs> I wanted to know what was uh, what was going to happen I didn't. I didn't want to stop and grind to get to a better level. It's like no, 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 no. I want to know what is going to happen. Next playthrough, yeah, by all means. But first playthrough, personally, I like to just focus on the story. Hmm. Well, it said two of three, so I got to three. That was hard. Let's have a show, yeah. Alex is going to finish this hard two run and then go for a slow survival one for more oh, immersion. Slow bike, a bit of sightseeing. Yeah. There's so many things to see in the games, this cap. Tux is asking if we're, we're getting married at the uh, Marion Forks Church. <laughs> what is... Uh, I don't know. Is that haunted? That was, <laughs> no, right? That was pretty fucking crazy. Uh, two by four. Magical two by four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Tux Trio says, date for four years, marriage, then the world ends. And Cap says, are you saying that once you get married, your world ends? <laughs> <laughs> CJ says, I still find it telling that despite their issues, Copeland will show up for the final fight. Mm -hmm. and Tucker does not. Yeah. I did wonder about why Tucker doesn't show up. I mean, the story, it doesn't. I never really kind of believed that she either would or wouldn't. Like, it didn't... I guess it wouldn't make sense either way <laughs> to me. Um, 
I feel like she is someone that would want to show up to boss people around. You know, she'd want to be like the general at the back of the the attack and, you know, telling people what to do. Um, I just wonder if like maybe they couldn't get the actress back or something. Like there was a scheduling issue or something like that. That's and just possible. Yeah, that's get one back. possibility. Uh, I had assumed it was just that the way she runs her camp, if she's not there on top of things, it will fall apart. I mean, that makes sense. But just the idea that she let Alkai and, and a bunch of people go to yeah, fight that and possibly die, like that yeah. doesn't kind of make sense Or without <laughs> her being there to keep an eye on them and make yeah. sure they come back or something. Makes me wonder if she actually technically knew yeah, maybe she what they were doing. Maybe not. Uh, Chuck sure. says Tucker is yes. scared to go out, not yeah. a true leader. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps this cope just wants a chance to use all of his guns. <laughs> Done. CJ says Deke isn't surprised at all that Tucker doesn't show up, but one thing is for sure: Deke earned the respect of Alkai and yeah. Cope. Uh, Alex says Copeland starts being a good sport after telling Deke that he misjudged him, and vice versa. Says mm, CJ. Yeah. And I believe that is dependent on your level of trust at the camp, because those are conversations you get as your trust increases with right. those uh, with those camp leaders. <laughs> Darren says it would be funny if Tuck showed up in a golf buggy. <laughs> hey, Joni is with us. Joni! What's going on, girl? Tuck says she's no Rick Grimes. The camp might run better without Tucker. I mean, mm, I, mean uh, I think it would. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Rock. So what mission are you going to next? Uh, we have a camp job for Lost Lake Camp. I don't even know which one. Wrong way. Wait a minute. Which way are you telling me to go here? You missed your time. I did, didn't I? There we go. Now we're back on track. It's funny how some of the parts of the map, I really know it, and I'm like, oh, I know mm -hmm. where I am. I know where to go. Mm -hmm. And then other parts, I'm like, do, 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 do. I? <laughs> just trees and a path, and I'm just following the map. It's like, blah, blah, blah. And I've played it eight times now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how do I not know my way around? Yeah. Yeah, I do the same thing. I've got... I still don't... Jesus, I don't even know. Over a dozen playthroughs? I still don't know how to get down from O'Leary Mountain to any to, to like Copeland's any particular camp. spot <laughs> I just the only place I know to get to is the truck with Wait, the machete it's the only place help he needs help that's what he wants you to believe I love that coil of rope behind him like mm. you know what they were gonna yeah. do I'm about to string him up yeah you know know this guy's fate Hey, hey, hey. Okay. okay, let's get some trust I, uh, with Lost camp. Lake Camp. Safe. Uh, the thing I love yeah, about yeah. sending survivors to Lost Lake Camp is that it's a thousand trust every time. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm like halfway to level three. Ah, just off of just Survivor off, Rescues. Yeah. Just off of Survivor Rescues in like the last couple days. I've been noodling around for like an hour. Mm -hmm. Is there like a Ask cat Ricky on this shirt? Tell. Is that an She'll eye? <laughs> It looks like a cat's eye. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a bullet hole from the previous oh, occupant yeah, of yeah, that could shirt. Be. Could be. And bullet hole and blood stain. That makes more sense. <coughs> I like the idea that, you know, in the apocalypse, okay, there'll be people running, walking around like those those, uh, those touristy shirts you get where it's like a big baggy t-shirt, but it has a picture of like a slender woman with big boobs <laughs> on it so it kind of makes you look like you're a slender woman with big boobs. Oh, God. So imagine like I am Mike in one like of those. Because that, that's the only clothes they could right, scavenge. Right, like I'm know. with stupid. Oh, 
I went to Bend, Oregon, and all I got was this stupid <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> Ah, okay, uh, back to the chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, chat. Psylocke says, Cope will never use as many guns as Claire. She <laughs> likes the feel of a warm gun in her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger, the better. And it's not about the, uh, the size. It's the reload speed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the penetration. Penetration. Uh, Joni says, I looked up who the actress was who played Ada Tucker. It's Dee Dee Resha. Yeah, I looked her up recently. I was mm. going to try to reach out to her to interview her for the podcast. But she doesn't have any social media. Hmm. So it's really hard to, like, figure out how to get in touch with her. Uh, Cap says, I did like the initial tension between Alki and Deacon mm -hmm. when they first met at Hot Springs. Uh, I like that, too. I like the, um, there's a, I forget what the line is, but there's something, it's the same when you get to Lost Lake and Schizo has that comment about, you know, keeping the camp safe from drifters. And Alki has a similar kind of comment about you know uh deacon being a drifter and not being trustworthy because of that yeah <clears throat> uh cj says also, man I, well mm, go ahead no go ahead with the chat there and i'll bring up my point all right uh man i wish you could play a schizo in the challenges having him rock the golf cart would have been hysterical <laughs> i bet jason spizak would have gotten a kick out of oh, it too yeah, oh that would, would be, be so cool yeah. uh okay we have a question in the chat but you say your thing first and then we'll get to that I forgot um, what I was going to say. You forgot? forgot we were talking about say. the tension between Alki and Deacon. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one thing. Uh, okay, so we know early in the game, we know that... Um, I'm sorry, did you see the embers and the snow there? No, Back I didn't. up, back up. Like, get off your bike right now and run back to that fire. All right. That's before the light changes. Go stand on the side of it and look towards the sun or whatever. The embers get close to the fire as you drove past it. The embers from the fire. There. See, the embers are like orange and the snow is coming down. Oh, my God. That was just so fucking pretty. Good eye. God damn. Okay, so, yeah, what I was going to say is uh, early in the game, we find out that Leon and Alvarez had conspired to steal drugs from Tucker's camp. And they had conspired with another member of Tucker's camp. Was it? Roach? Is I honestly, the one? I'm not it's entirely a trio. sure. It, it's a trio. It's one of the guys you get a bounty mission. You're supposed to chase him down on the bike. It's one of the bike chase missions from Belknap Camp. Um, I, I think it's Roach. Oh, uh, it might, yeah, it might but be Roach. It's, it's the three of them, Leon, Alvarez, and Roach, had conspired to steal supplies from Tucker's camp and sell them to Copeland. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know this, and we know that Leon killed Alvarez to get her share of the money. Because uh, he was going to go sell the loot to Tuck, to Copeland himself and take that share of the money. Uh, and there is a bit of dialogue. Fuck, I do not remember where I saw this. It was in one of your streams. Somebody says, I think Roach, actually, when you're tying him up, he says, I know what you did to Leon and Alvarez. Mm. And Leon that, and Alvarez. And Alvarez. Did Deacon did not kill Alvarez. Leon killed Alvarez. Yeah. And then Deacon killed Leon to avenge Alvarez, whom he did, who he did not harm. I always uh, assumed that Leon, that Deacon and Boozer were kind of in with Alvarez somehow, like friendly. What or it something, tells but. you though is that the other people's perceptions of Deacon is that he is the kind of guy who would kill both Leon and right. Alvarez to double cross all of them. Right. That's what their perception of Deacon. He actually says, I know what you did to Leon and Alvarez. Mm -hmm. So that tells you why they have such a low opinion of Deacon early in the game before you start getting your trust right. built up. That is exactly why. And although Deacon does have a code, it's um, it's not much of a code. Like, oh, I don't kill unarmed women. Well, there pretty much aren't any in this world. Mm. Like, <laughs> um, it makes sense that that you wouldn't have a lot of opportunities to display your ethics yeah. if that's really the be all and end all of your moral compass is well I don't kill women that are unarmed like okay great good for Trippy. you uh, so question from Tommy he says what are the blue question marks on the mini map uh, you would be better suited to answer that one I usually disregard them oh okay so the blue question marks are um, 
they are optional little missions uh, that you can go do. And it's literally like a survivor, uh, a, a hostage. Um, maybe it's sometimes just a pack of freaks are attacking some deer. It's an opportunity to get something for free from the world. But there's always potentially a cost, so it's not free. Uh, you may have to kill some people. You may have to expend, you know, use some ammo. Uh, or you may have to do a tracking mission. You waste your time if you're planning to go somewhere and now you're stopping to track something. Eric Jensen, the lead open world designer, when I interviewed him on the podcast, which, Tommy, if you haven't heard the podcast, Killer check it out. Fucking episode. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. All the episodes are up late, uh, up, uploaded uh, to YouTube. You can listen to it on any podcast app. Just search for Days Gone Podcast. We're at 46 episodes, I think, currently. Yeah. But the Eric Jensen one is, is mm. one of the best. I also interviewed Jeff Ross, the director of uh, Days Gone. And um, yeah, so Eric was talking about how the there is a mechanic in the programming of the game that knows when you are low on something, when you need something, or when you're using a lot of something. And it gives you opportunities to find what you want. Um, and it's literally programmed in. So you see these question marks on the map, and the idea is like in the story of the game that maybe you heard twig snap, or you heard gunfire nearby, or something, or you just, your spidey sense was just kind of tingling, and you're like, I should maybe go check over there. Or maybe you shouldn't. Maybe it's certain death. Or maybe it's, you know, a fucking pack of wolves or something like that. So it's kind of like an optional, like, do you want to risk going to investigate Deek. this? High risk, high How's reward. Although often hunter. it's medium risk, Where? medium reward, to be honest. Um, mm, but yeah, work. you can find, like, ambush camps. You can find, <sighs> sometimes you, you get trapped. There are like literal okay, snare traps literal snare that they traps, will yeah. lay for oh, you. Oh yeah, you're short. Check out that short oh, on God, Claire's yeah. channel. Go over to my channel, Eight Bit Terror. Um, I'm gonna type. Yeah, put a comment. I'm in gonna there. type hi in the chat so you can see who I am. There I am, Eight Bit Terror. Uh, go over to my channel and one of the shorts, one of the um, the little short videos that I posted recently. If you scroll down on the main page, you'll see shorts. You'll see the thumbnail is like Deacon hanging upside down in a tree. That's an example of a snare trap. Addy. So go check it out. Hey, um, but yeah, the question marks are just opportunities. Okay? You can completely yeah, well. ignore them as Rex does. He's not. Or like he's I've been doing, like I said, the last few days, I've just well, been playing a little bit be a in my downtime, literally here. just driving around, like, going after every question so mark like I find. No. And I've had Sorry. thousands of okay. trust points Wait. Uh, given to me for oh, Lost yeah, Lake. From the hostage rescues. Yeah, yeah, from hostage rescues. And they're fun. They're fun little mini missions. Yeah, yeah. I would say uh, as far as those, the only time I really go after those little question marks is kind of like what Clara is doing now, just looking for stuff to do in the game, just enjoying being in the world of the game and going out looking for trouble to get into, basically. Uh, so if that, you know, if you're literally just trying to have some fun in the world of Days Gone, check out those little blue question marks, uh, like she said. I think the more you do, the more you get. Because I noticed Probably. a lot popping oh, up really? now. really? Yeah. Hmm. And it's like I said with Eric Jensen, he was talking about the mechanics of it and how it is. You, yeah. It's like I use a lot of bear traps, so I find a lot of bear traps. Right. The world actually, the programming of the game ups the percentage of bear traps, the, the, yeah. the number of bear traps. It does give you more because you're using them. Um, I've, I've actively noticed that. It's not just being more observant. It's I've actively seen it increase because I know where there are bear traps and where there are not bear traps and when I start picking more up I start getting more in unusual places hey, where there aren't normally the bear traps for those black I love bear traps <laughs> um, anyway true? let's move on let's uh, catch up hey, um, Alex is asking how the challenges affect your in-game bonuses ah. do you want to go through that I can, but I'll need just a moment to. Uh, well, yeah, it, it, well, we, can, we can answer the we question. We can come back to yeah. that. Let me catch up with everyone else first. We'll we'll come back to that in a second. Chris White is with us. Hey, Chris, That's what's up, man? Chris says the Cascades is a maze of trees. All other locations <laughs> have nice, clear line of sight. Runs on the bike. Yeah. Uh, Tux is off tomorrow. He was going to go to bed early. Now I'm watching this and I want to make coffee and play for three hours. <laughs> Rex got me second guessing mm. my night. I mean, shit, yeah. There you go. Um, hey, <laughs> Cap suggests a, uh, a t-shirt for the survivor. I survived five months in the shit, and all I got yeah, was this lousy something? shirt. <laughs> hey, boss. 
Um, CJ is talking about the question marks. Says sometimes, uh, sometimes they're survivors. Sometimes they're dead marauders and a group of freaks who killed them. Other times it's just dead bodies to loot. Yeah. Um, Tuck says there? the question marks are timed side quests that expire quickly. Yeah, you pretty much have to make a decision right then and there. And like I said, it's sort of the kind of head cannon for the well, not really head cannon. I mean, this comes from the the designers of the game, <laughs> yeah, like, but the like the, the <laughs> way you're supposed to think of it in a story <laughs> way is that Deacon hears a noise. You've got shit tumbling around all over the place. So yeah, the speaker. Oh, up all right. Time. Uh, but yeah, it's like, Deacon hears a noise, and it's like, do you want to go investigate? Yes or no? And if you don't, then that's fine, but he ain't going to be there in, you know, a little bit. You can't come back, because yeah. it's just a noise you heard. Sorry, you were going to so, say. So, yeah, let's answer the question about challenge mode. Um, that is, that's easy enough to answer. Uh, okay, so when you complete a challenge, I'll just, I'll, I'll run through this uh, as simply as I can. I want to show the challenges here. If you up the here. aperture, it, everything will come yeah. into focus. So these patches here, every single challenge that you get rank in, whether you get bronze, silver, or gold, even if you just get bronze rank, it will add the patch to Deacon's jacket permanently. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will add the permanent bonus that is immediately effective in your main game playthrough. So if you unlock a bronze in one of these challenges and get the patch on your jacket and immediately exit challenge mode, go into the game, you have that patch and that bonus applied. Uh, it is permanent from the moment you get it across all playthroughs. Uh, so even if you completely yeah, you delete that save file and start a fresh playthrough, you have that patch unlocked yeah, permanently. Yeah, the challenges are saved separately. Correct. And it applies. To you don't have to do anything. It's just you just magically now have it. Yeah. Now, interesting and thing is you can see the outlines of the patches. You can tell uh, what ranking you got. Right. Here, let me. Ah, I don't close. know why one of them. That would be that, silver, bronze, and gold. I yeah, think. I don't know why that red, the red one there doesn't have an outline. I'm not sure what that one's for. Yeah. And the eyeball doesn't really have one. Um, yeah, I don't. But they do. They do change in color. Mm, I think with the unstoppable one. On this PC, one, I, I, on this machine, I only have bronze in most. I of think them. on the unstoppable one there, I think it's actually the background mm. color where it's like a silver color. Mm. I think it might be a different color. Maybe for the background, but generally, it's like the outline tells you kind of what. Um, uh, what rank you have. Yeah, they do. The appearance does change depending on which rank you have unlocked. Mm -hmm. um, so the thing about them, they, they do different things. Like one, one of my personal favorites is the eyeball here, I think is the one. You can kind of see the eyeball has like a crosshair on it. Mm -hmm. uh, what that does is it improves your range and accuracy when shooting from the bike. And with a gold level patch on there it is a like a 60 percent increase to your range and accuracy when shooting from the bike couple that with the smp9 as your sidearm uh could i get you back out a little bit uh the smp9 is there it is the bike was in the way sorry anyway y'all know what the smp9 is with that as your sidearm and that bonus to your accuracy and range shooting from the bike you're a fucking beast shooting from the bike so the the patches are fucking worth it. Most of them are actually pretty cool. And I will say, if you want to pursue the patches, which you absolutely should, uh, but if you're like me and you're like, yeah, I don't know, they sound kind of hard, not really my cup of tea, check out Borislav247, his channel, or the collaboration streams yeah. on Rex's channel. Rex and Borislav did a collaboration several times. Yeah, one sec. Uh, several... I'll get to it. I was He's, just spinning it. Oh, it okay. Cool. Oh, sorry, I thought you were just like hint, hinting at the... <laughs> I'm spinning the whis my whiskey, whiskey glass, glass. I'm like, cool. let me finish my sentence. I'm promoting <laughs> videos on your channel. So Borislav came over to Rex's channel and they did a um, like a joint playthrough of the challenges. You were on the controls and Boris was like talking you through not just what to do, but why to do it. Because the challenges, the thing that annoys me about the challenges is they don't explain what you have to do. It's like, here's a challenge, go figure it out. And I, I'm, I suck at that. I want it to tell me. I want to know what, just give me one objective. Um, Borislav really does a good job of breaking it down and telling you, this is what you need to do. This is how to score points. This is the best way to do it. This is where to go. And you can, you know, take um, kind of cues from him or you can follow it to the letter. But I managed to get my first gold in a challenge 
purely because of watching Boris Live. I would not be able to do it without him. Um, and the ones with you, Rex, on your channel, it's a real fun stream to watch because it's like slowed down and you've got multiple mm -hmm. playthroughs, mm -hmm. multiple takes where you, you fuck it up. And it's like, okay, I know what I did wrong. Let's reload. Try it again. Yeah. So you can see that kind of trial and error, not really trial and error, but that learning from mistakes. Um, so yeah, check out those videos. Yeah. So what we're doing here, we have the camp job from Lost Lake Camp to uh, take out uh, two dog. It's a bounty hunter mission. We're supposed to get this guy. You wanted more whiskey, right? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, but not a lot. That's okay. plenty. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, so this is going to take some resources. No, sir. Not today. I love how he's all burned up. And just still ready to fuck your shit yeah, up. Yeah, ready to ruin your fucking day if you let him. Like first degree burns, but he's like, I'm fucking oh, dead. Stuck in a heal. I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. That really does happen. Yeah, we will heal imminently. Here we go. Get some distance. I also want to point out that um, little duck through uh, that you can find on the fence. There, I use that all the time. It's oh, so fucking you. useful. Pop. Hey, get back in my... Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, would you get back in my line of fire, please? Thank you. He's like, no, I don't want to play. Oh, that's actually really neat that he's yeah, just sitting there. stand right there. <laughs> now, why didn't you just smoke bomb or flashbang him and execute? I don't have executioner yet. Oh, okay, that'd be why. Yeah. Zylok says, my favorite thing are the tracking missions that turn into a snare, and the next thing you see is waking up in a cell. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the two-dog mission at the Sawmill Horde. Uh, the Horde is present. They are in there, okay? So if you come in here and you try to do this bounty hunter mission, and this guy opens fire and pisses off the Horde, it's going to go badly for you. It's not going to be a great time. Well... I, I beg to differ because I've done this several times where he's just run off and found himself the horde and I've just sat there going doo, 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 and then just wait for the horde to clear out and I just walk in and take the bounty. Yeah. So it can work out in your favor. If you like waiting. So what I like to do is before he even spawns, I'll come up here and I'll set some bombs. If you put one, no, wrong one. Needs to be a mine. It seriously actually does need to be a mine. Thank you. So if you put it right there on those four dots where the rivets are, right there, and then another one right here on those four dots, what'll happen, he'll trigger them and get caught in between the two of them. Because if you only do the one, it pops after he's already running away. Because he spawns about where you're standing right now. He kind of like jumps up over this thing and runs across them both and yeah. tries to jump down the back. So if you've got both, he gets caught between the blast of the two. So you go ahead and you go in and you set those bombs first. Uh, you don't even have to do the tracking bit. You just go in and set the bombs and then you go back and do the tracking bit. You can do this first tracking bit. Probably, yeah. And then go in. Yeah. Uh, CJ says, Rex was talking and I was thinking, I hope he sees that breaker in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting on him. I wanted him to move toward me away from the horde because uh, I didn't want to get down close to the horde and open fire. So, yeah, if you can show this little duck through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right uh, here so in the fence. There's pits. a little cone, a little traffic cone somewhere that kind of helps you find that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a great, right outside great little somewhere. part to just, you can just run and like slide at yeah. it. Yeah. If the horde is chasing you, I use that all the time. Where it's is great. the little traffic cone? It's I know usually it's right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's usually right next to it, so you there, can kind of see it. Yeah, she's absolutely right. There generally is like a little orange traffic I think cone sitting it's here somewhere. Oh, it's there. It's because it's snowing. It's covered oh, in white. Oh, it's just covered. Okay. So anytime that it's not snowing, <laughs> you can see the little orange cone right there. And uh, you can just run straight at it. And I usually do like a little slide. And he just goes straight yeah. through. And all the freaks are like, what? Because they can't follow you. Oh, 
Oh shit. Ah, check it out, folks. That didn't quite get him. That is literally the first time in dozens of attempts that has not worked. And where the fuck did he go? He literally just despawned. He's dead. There's an X on the map. No, it's uh, that's uh, it's always there. Oh, okay. He I has despawned on us. Weird. I would go check that he's Did not dead that? somewhere. That was weird. He fucking despawned, man. Wild. I've never seen that. That is uh, okay. So a that is the first time I have ever seen it not get him in the blast. And I've never seen him just straight fucking despawn. I wonder if it did get him, but also glitched. It's like glitched it him got him, but he something. was still alive somehow. Oh, or yeah, trippy. Um, I was exclaiming because Darren says um, that my challenge videos inspired him to try yeah. challenge mode. My challenge Sawmill. videos suck because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> but I managed to get bronze Remember, in a few. Uh, I think silver in one of them with the help of the live chat. Uh, that was one of the things that I was doing, so I was live yeah. streaming, and I knew nothing about the challenges. I, I didn't know anything about them, uh, what to do. I hadn't seen Boris Lab's videos. I knew of him, but I hadn't watched any of them in detail to be like, this is what you need to do. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. How hard can it be? Uh, it turns out it's really fucking hard. <laughs> oh, we've still got the merch link on the screen? Oh, my word. Oh, goodness. No, for real. Buy some fucking merch. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Sorry, there we Joe go. Joe, just let us know. Claire and Rex, merch link on screen. Get rid of it. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm not looking at the stream. I'm just watching uh, through the PlayStation input. I don't actually see what's on screen to the audience. Sorry about that. Was that on the whole time? Has it been on all this time? It would have been since the last time we talked about it, yeah. Shit. Uh, CJ says that duck through is a lifesaver in Shit. Black Friday. It's another fucking breaker. That's why you always do the tracking out there so you don't have to come back out. I mean, Delorium is the horde. Adios, breaker. <laughs> it's been on for a while. I'm sorry. I didn't have eyes on the screen. I'm just reading the chat. It's gone now, though, right? Yeah. Should be. Rex can see it fine. He's just loaded and has double vision. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, uh, Cap says Joe Schmo is much more direct than I am. LOL. If any time we fuck up and our mics are off or we've got shit on screen that we've obviously forgotten about, like, just tell us. It's fine. Just be like, uh, check the screen. You, Twice, you've you've really? got a thing. Cap says, was two dogs hiding in the back or you just blew him the fuck up? Yeah, I think something... Fucking weird happened. Yeah. yeah, that was definitely fucky. I've never seen it do anything quite like that before. I actually am going to hit you with the Molotov today, sir. You will be sound pot. Fuck him up, baby. <laughs> Kick his ass. Uh, Tommy wants to know how many playthroughs did it take before you were able to memorize pretty much where everything is? <laughs> uh, not that many, really. Uh, I would say probably oh, three or four. Something like that. But we've already established Rex is a super mutant. <laughs> uh, Jeremy is with us. Did we? Did Jeremy you say hi to sure Jebe? Did. Yeah, he was, he's been here since the start. Yeah, he says good night, old dream sweet. He's uh, gonna go. Good night, Jebe. All right, brother. Hey, thank you for being here, man. All right, T-Dog. We'll see you next time. Now, most of you will already know this, but the reason I was so dead set on hitting that breaker with a Molotov, enemies on fire take increased damage. Uh, so when you can actually hit the fuckers with a Molotov and ignite them, uh, or anything that will set them on fire, uh, incendiary bolts from the crossbow, explosive barrels, gas cans, anything like that that will set the enemy on fire, they will take increased damage while they are burning. I have a question for you about that. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Uh, there we go. That's how it's supposed to work. Uh, I, I've tested it. Um, it's one of those things, like, I don't remember where I initially read it or who initially said it. 
Uh, but it's something that's been discussed on the on the subreddit. Mm. So I'm I'm not like claiming I discovered it all by myself or whatever. Uh, but I have tested it. Uh, and if they're actively on fire, they take fewer hits than they do if they're not on fire. Oh, but is that because because they're they burning? Have, no, yeah. no, no, not because they're burning. Because if they have a hundred health, mm. the Molotov takes off twenty five. Well, then it only takes right. seventy five bullets or if yeah, a bullet is one you know it's like you've already done a chunk of damage to them with the molotov okay, mm-hmm. you know yeah it could be and also you you are doing damage over time right with the molotov as they are burning they're taking uh damage over time cj says two dogs ai is pretty strange really if you go up after him like rex did he seems to be pushed ahead into one of the buildings. Hmm. I shot him with a poison arrow and he just stood there talking and then died. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done quite a few versions of that mission where um, I, I I mean, I don't even know if I, maybe the first time I played it I managed to shoot him, but every other time he's just like run off on his own and got into the horde <laughs> or yeah, or like I've shot him with like something and he's eventually died or, or whatever or just He's just weird. Yeah, it's gen. I think the uh, the one I remember CD. is when he just he ran How's off, going, and then I just saw an Got X pop on the map, and I was like, <laughs> oh, and I kind of snuck close, and it was like the horde was there, and I was like, okay, I'll just wait for the horde. They fucked off, and I'm like, thanks. Yeah, that may be what happened today. Today, well, like he skipped he ahead back. to another point in you on the map. Blew him through time with those two explosions. <laughs> Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that bug out. Almost it, it every single time. I was going to say almost, but every single time I've ever done that, if you put them in exactly those locations where the rivets meet at and um, put two there, he's dead every single time. As soon as he spawns, he dies. Two dog? We should call him two boom. <laughs> two bombs. Two bombs. Uh, Cap says, I wonder if you use focus when two dog appears, if that you increases your chances hey, of getting him blown up. Interesting. Maybe. Alex says, also, the Molotov has a bit of an initial stun. Yes, it does have. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> What's been keeping you They'll away stagger so when they uh, ignite. Blair, how's it going? All right. Okay, what do we have left, and what time is it? Uh-oh. 9.45 or 9.43. Oh, okay, so almost quarter to ten. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, shit, I don't think we have... Yeah, there's no more camp jobs up. No other just random map activities we could do right now. Uh, what is the story mission that we have waiting on us? Could, yeah, there we go. Better to light one candle. Ride with Ricky to repair a broken transformer. So that's the one that's just right down the road. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. With we should nukes. have time for that. Yeah. I hate this one. I'm better at it now, but the first mm, couple times mm-hmm. I did it, I suck so hard. And I think it's like I didn't have the auto shotgun or that helps. Yeah. I, you know, wasn't using focus properly or whatever. It's like those early, early playthroughs when you really kind of don't know what you're doing. Yeah. For most people. Um, you got what you need. Now it's not so, so bad, but yeah, I always get so nervous with this one. Let's go. Yeah. 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 It can be stressful. I've even gone in and set mines and shit before the mission starts and it doesn't well, help that much pretty excited. it is kind of funny watching the newts go flying when the mines go off <laughs> uh cj says the last time he was in the building from that two dog um after the checkpoint uh and was in the animation used for deep fixing the spike weird as fuck so i shot him with a poison arrow and he started he stared at me just talking <laughs> So I guess he doesn't have the animation to be poisoned. He's just uh, like, I am just going to keep talking. Oh, I've run out of health. <laughs> and that's it. So it's like a weird disconnect. Um, upendo? Upendo? I don't know how you would say that. Hello? Um, Hello. Hello and welcome. So what's going on there? Said Ricky not ride with me. Ricky doesn't ride with me. And sad face. Was Ricky bugged out? Uh, Cap says the auto shotgun helps so much with this mission and the runner cave mission. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. The um, Dead Coyote Mine. Love the name. I'll never forget the name okay. of that. I think that's all of them. Okay. 
Okay. Shit. To fix this thing, what, I what we I was going to try to set a bomb. Ah. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope. But there's a first time for everything, so right? So real important right. for this one, okay, certainly on, from my point up. of view. And let me know if I'm wrong about this. Right, but ready? the auto uh -huh. shotgun and one, the SMP9. Fuck yeah. Two, three. <laughs> if you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, your bomb disappeared. I know, right? Being weird tonight. Yeah, you've got do some weird anything. little buggy things going on. Yeah, you, it, since you had that haunted plank, <laughs> you got a ghost. That's what it is. You got a ghost on you. Maybe. Because our 132-year-old house is haunted. So, while you're killing newts, I'm going to tell the story. Uh, we're getting a new um, driveway uh, cut put in. And the contractor brought his girlfriend with him today because he just had to sit around and watch concrete dry for a while so his girlfriend was just kind of like hanging out with him and uh i got to you know see how everything's going and he's like oh by the way my girlfriend's with me and uh she used to live in your house and i was like oh that's kind of cool like a few years ago apparently her mom lived here or something so she she lived here for a little while and she was like yeah yeah it's it's haunted and we've been told by our neighbor uh, who had a relative who lived here for a while, that it was haunted. So I got the inside scoop on the different hauntings that have been reported here, the different paranormal activity. Uh, your newts are acting weird. It's being all kinds of fucky tonight. I don't know what's going on. I think he's behind the door. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, but it let me get him anyway. What? <laughs> yeah, it's being all kinds of fucky, oh, man. I don't know what's going on. I promise I have not been using rest mode, folks. I fucking know better. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, apparently our house is haunted, but sometime. honestly, it's yeah, not. I, I actually so speak professionally on this. I am a certified demonologist yeah, and a like uh, experienced paranormal investigator. <laughs> this house is not haunted. Come on, yeah. I gotta check something else out. This house actually has a really chill vibe. It does. I think uh, if, if this place is haunted, she's cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It has a, for a 132-year-old house that has two separate families living here, both of which have reported that it's haunted, it's fucking chill as fuck. It really is. This I lived here on my own before you moved in, Rex. I was mm -hmm. here on my own for like Shit, what, a months? month and a half, two yeah, months. Yeah, at least. And, uh, and there were some nights where I'd have my kiddo with me, so, um, which please. honestly was scary because it was okay, like a little kiddo. He's... He was just two and a half at the time, and, you know, he'd sometimes, like, come into my room in the middle of the night and just be, like, creepy and shit. <laughs> it's, like, it would weird me out. Um, but uh, even that, like, he, it was never, it was never weird. I never felt creepy, like, being here on my own and, like, walking up the stairs at night with all the lights turned out and just getting that, that chill down his spine or nothing like that. Nothing like that. It was always super, like, and chill and it always felt it has that vibe of like other people are home so you are safe yeah you know maybe it is full of fucking ghosts and they're all maybe really they're chill all just it's like chill yeah, we're, all, yeah. We're, all, we're all home and it's uh and it's safe yeah when we first moved in here i've mentioned this before <laughs> i i did get a vibe it was just kind of like like the old girl was just happy to have a family who gives a shit oh, living here again because I know the, the folks that lived here before weren't really yeah, taking good care of the place. Oh, yeah. Uh, the it, it, and yeah. the last yeah. owner, I think, didn't really take Just care of it. Just didn't really, yeah. Okay. She it only got the foundation shored up when she was anywhere? trying to sell it, and it yeah. was on the market for six yeah. months because no one All wanted right. to buy a house that was literally collapsing into the ground. Yeah. So she paid a professional okay. company to shore up the, the foundation so it didn't collapse. Tough. Not going to deny that. That made it sound food, <laughs> <medicine> <laughs> I know, right. No, Shit, it's actually been recently renovated. Yes, it is. It is like all secure and, and holding up fine now. <laughs> and without that, everything but yeah, I just it meaningless. felt like she was just happy to that have family thing, here that gives a shit again. I like that you know trust. the ghost gender. Yeah. That's how it felt to me. Now, a while mm -hmm. ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. This part right we ain't here. We got enough for ourselves. Some of you right here. Said when he starts, some of you schizo. He starts kind of praising Deacon of here, and along. we already know we need Schizo has everyone. made his case I to Deacon. Deacon shot him down, literally laughed him out, 
uh, you know, laughed him away. And Deacon is also said, like, oh, I'm going on a run with Iron Mike. Mm. And, you know, I'm buddy buddy with As Iron Mike. Me and Iron Mike, we're tight. Yeah. You know, it's like that's Ricky has tried to make a move on Deacon. And uh, Skizzle saw wrong. that and is jealous of that. So he's she jealous of his connection with Ricky. He's jealous of his connection with happen. Iron Mike. He knows that he will not side with him in his attempt to take over Iron Mike. And he's threatened by Deacon's sway over Absolutely. Iron Mike and Ricky. Absolutely. And you see this moment where he turns and walks away. I believe the very next main story mission is right into Ripper territory with Schizo. Yeah. And that is this moment is where we see Schizo make the decision right. to go ahead and betray Deacon to well, the Rippers. Yes and no. Skizzo's already been on the mission to do the poly with... He's yeah. already set up the deal. Yeah. Uh, so I think this already, is where he decides to go through with it. Right. Real. But he's already decided it's an option. Because he's already put the wheels in motion. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're right here. He's just like, oh yeah, my instincts were right. I need to get that done. Yeah. That was my wife, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. This is where, where they... Where he sees them in the infirmary, mm. that's when he's like, no, this, okay, we're doing this. Long time. Right. Uh, mm. CJ says, for the record, the crowd breakers, the crowd breaker shotgun's reload time sucks major ass. Yeah, I never used that weapon. I used that, that, that was my well, first uh, disillusionment uh, with the guns in this game, because I saw right. crowd breaker. Because it should be fucking awesome, and, like, and you test it, and it's like, oh, this is not even fun to use. Yeah, it sounds really cool, and, and it doesn't break yeah. crowds like it does not <laughs> it shoots twice and needs to be reloaded uh cap says but that shotgun is always also fun to Addy. use but yeah it takes a long time to reload yeah. if you empty it yeah i mean if, here. if you, you dig here? using shotguns in your primary slot well yeah it's well gonna stripped. be fun it's like the liberator is a Straight fucking excellent point. shotgun off, so they the just table. they can't hold a candle to that yeah. auto shotgun yeah. man uh Zylok says when your house is haunted the best thing to do is play a video game where you kill a bunch of children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An engineer, Deke, but CJ says the auto reload puck in challenge mode makes it a great weapon to use, anymore. but against a horde, <laughs> oh hell no! Yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, because if you're using what is it the the this. one that lets you roll to reload your ammo, right? Uh, if you're using that where you're not literally having to every two rounds, well, yeah, that that actually would work pretty well. I like the slide to pick things up. Mm. I wish that was that's in cool the real game. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cap says in. Little old lady poltergeist voice. This house is clean. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how she says it. Uh, Joe says, there are times when I've wondered if the lady who had our house is still here. Nothing bad, just little random things every now and again, like happy laughter, I've heard. Hmm. My last oh, wow. house had cool. the previous owner still there. Mm -hmm. Definitely, told me about without that, a doubt. Yeah. I've got chills yeah, right now. Um, I say without a doubt, I have video evidence of her coming through on a Ouija Where board. Um, like fucking creepy fucking shit. The MC uh, after. And yeah, I without know. a doubt, she was still there. She <laughs> didn't die there. She was actually, she died in like a hospice care home. Um, but yeah, she came back. That's where she, she settled at. She came home. Uh, CJ says, it's one of the rings you unlock. Uh, but I did it so long ago, I forget how to get it. Oh, I believe you just purchased it mm. in challenge mode. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes my cat randomly stares up at the ceiling and I cannot get his attention. <laughs> he just stares. It freaks me out. Now Here he, we go. He could be, your cat could be seeing light married. bouncing off of something mm. onto the ceiling. Dust or, motes floating in the sunlight. Yeah, d dust. I mean, shit, I've seen my cats freak out over like a single piece of dust. And they're just like, what the fuck is this? Is it you play with? And it's like, dude, it's, it's dust. No, they're just like spazzing out, just like staring at it like, oh, magical, you know, um, it's a sign magical from the elder dust. gods. And it's like, no, it's just dust. <laughs> Schizo is feeling threatened by BDE, that no. big deek mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark. Oh, CJ says um, uh, his mom has also said that she's seen and heard things in the house. Is it just me or do moms, and I speak as a mom, but do moms always lean towards the paranormal? Because my mom was like that. My grandma was like that. Hmm. Big time. Um, may, I mean, maybe I say moms, maybe it's just a, uh, a 
female thing. I I don't know. Um. Hey. I don't know. Nothing. Maybe just confirmation bias. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. We actually don't have anything on the map right now. I don't have any camp jobs ready. No uh, story missions have popped. Uh, so I think what the next one is to go to um, Iron Butte with uh, Schizo. Mm, Something like that. Yeah, probably. Somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we don't have anything on the map right now. So it's a perfect time to shut it down. We're pretty close to time anyway. Uh, I do want to throw out a reminder out there uh, again, schedule. And lineup are changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're my streams. I will only be doing Tuesday and Thursday. Will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Wednesday and Friday will be Days Gone, uh, and that's going to be at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And then every other Saturday, starting this weekend, this Saturday after the holiday is over, uh, every other Saturday again at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, Claire and I will be doing a collaborative live stream where it's it's. Kind of what we've been doing on our feedback loop and what we were doing on our Friday night dying light. It's literally just us hanging out uh, with the chat, shooting the shit, talking shit, playing video games and or talking about video games. Literally just hanging out, drinking whiskey, having a good old fucking time with a whiskey can. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to be every other Saturday again, seven to nine p.m. Mountain time. And then days gone Wednesday, Friday, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Tuesday, Thursday. All of it, 7 p.m. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's the announcement. And of course, you know, it, it's going to be in the link. It's going to be in the description of all the upcoming videos. It'll be, you know, where you can see it nice and easy right there in the description to the videos uh, and the live streams. It'll be on our socials. Uh, in fact, Claire, I think you've already put up materials for your new yeah, schedule. Yeah, I have a lineup. slightly new schedule. Right. So I, I have new game. I don't have a new schedule. I have new games. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing Monday through Friday. I do Days Gone at 8 a.m., so 8 in the morning, Mountain Time. On Monday afternoons at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, I've just announced, I'm so fucking excited, I'm going to be doing Resident Evil 7. Oh, shit, that one's supposed my, to be pretty fucking terrifying, It's supposed right? to be one of the scariest horror games ever made. In fact, they toned oh. down the horror for Resident Evil 8 because they had so many people who couldn't play 7 because it was just too scary. Damn, they just went, wow, over uh, so the top I'm, with it. Okay. I'm like terrified and you told me earlier that you played it and you had a, a certain response i, I played <laughs> it in vr yeah uh my buddy jeremy mcgee uh, i think he's already gone for the evening but uh he and i were hanging out one evening and he has playstation vr uh and so one of the resident evil games i don't know which one it was it may have been this one uh but it was in vr and it it literally triggered my fight or flight response i, I was ready to get up swinging mm -hmm. yeah i'm i'm Kind of, yeah. kind of not looking forward. I'm like, I am, but like, <laughs> yeah, you're into that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to fight. You enjoy being scared. <laughs> yeah. Um, real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's so go. Joe has the links. He has the um nice. the reminder to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to yes, the channel. Yes, yes, yes. Um, memberships. If you want to become a channel member, if you want to show your appreciation for Rex for all the fucking content he creates, all of the times he's helped you out please consider mm -hmm, mm -hmm. contributing to the channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really does help him. It really does make all of this possible. Without mm -hmm. contributions, Rex would not be able to do this. So head over to buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. And if you want to become a channel member, you get a shout out on every live stream. Uh, do you want to say thank you to your channel members? I would fucking love that. So <laughs> this is actually kind of one of my favorite parts of the evening. I love that this list continues to grow. This, it makes it so much more fun when it grows while you watch. Zylog wait, 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 wait. That sounded so rude. <laughs> wait, what? What are we talking about? <laughs> Zylog DNB. Captain Caffeine. Basics of Pain. Boris Lov 24-7. Sarah Monster. Floyd Rocker. James Guan. Jay Stabby. Catherine Jones. Honey Okashe. Obscured by Ink. Anton G. W.D. Henderson. Tom Moose. Quasimoto. Dogbone. Tom, the juice box, Jameson, and CJ Voorhees. Thanks, guys, for real. Thank you. Speaking of CJ, I just want to say that his comment just brought me to tears. He says, my, Wait, cat, my cat is orange, and sometimes I'll see an orange blur in the dark outside my room. You read it. 
Sorry, my voice is breaking up. I, my cat passed away recently, and I'm so oh. kind of sad about it, Yeah, obviously. Mm-hmm. You read the comment right now. My cat is orange, and sometimes I'll see an orange blur in the dark outside my room. I think it's him, but he isn't there. My last cat was also orange, who passed away here from cancer. I think it's him. Yeah. Cats are special. That's it. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had a lot of cats. I love them all. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, any other announcements? Any other changes? Um, That's about it, right? We yeah. are taking tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is, of course, Thanksgiving here in the States. Uh, we will be taking tomorrow off. We'll be taking Friday off. Uh, and then uh, the new schedules roll out Saturday evening, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, my channel, uh, new kind of feedback loop. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Word. Yeah. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And if you are not in the U.S. and you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And we will see you all Saturday night. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>